Hey guys, uh, today I want to show you on my first video my brand new VCI 100 mapping for Tractor 2 that Native Instruments gave us a couple of weeks ago. I really love this piece of software and I even more love this piece of hardware. I had even a firmware update a couple of weeks ago and so this baby really rocks. So stay tuned for my custom mapping. Uh, once you begin with the browsing and transport section, uh, it's yeah nothing too special, but I got a couple of features I want to show you. Uh, the first thing is the browser button, really important. This one it switches directly into browser mode, and with your two jog wheels here, you can choose your song from your current playlist or with the other jog wheel you can switch between the playlists between your favorite playlists that you listed up here and yeah so yeah it's a classic top 40 and we load it into each deck with the deck buttons for deck A and B and just load it Oh, there it is. And now we have classic transport control over this via the jog wheels. Ah. There we go. Play pause. Play pause. Q play, Q pause, and we can set the Q points easy with this button. Just like the labeling on the VCI, functions are exactly the same, and yeah, pretty easy. Uh, the next thing on the browser button I want to show you, get back to the browser mode. Uh, you can switch directly into the sample collection with this button, which is the re sample record button. And we can load our samples. Let's say this guy to the four samples, which line up in the mapping right down here. Let's see what we got here. There you are. I'll describe this whole sample thing to you later in another tutorial on my mapping. But this is basically how it works. If it works. Yeah, volume up. There you go. Got your sample loaded. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, we can cue our tracks to the headphones via the deck button plus browser button switches, headphone on and off. Same here, and we have LED feedback so we can see which channel we have on our headphones. Ah, the next thing is if we got our oh, track here playing, um, uh, the loop control. The loop control is a bit different to other mappings. We have one central loop button for each deck, which just makes an eight count loop. But we can adjust this loop, uh, the length with the deck button. And we have our buttons here, these little tiny black buttons. And as you can see above the deck, right here, let me show you right there. The length of the loop is 
and we can deactivate the loop always with this button off. There you go. And if you want to, you can choose the loop, uh, the loop length before activating the loop. Let's say uh, 16 counts, and you can activate it with this button. That's it. You can still alter the length with up and down buttons here, up to 33 counts, just as tractors and figures. Yeah. All the decks I the all the deck controls I explained for this deck are just symmetrically for deck B. So uh, deck A, so we can have our loop buttons uh, loop length. Just yeah. And here is 33 counts, 16 counts, 8 counts and 4 counts. And you can see yep. Our LP feedback, so it's for deck B. We have an 8 count loop and we have it set to 33 counts for deck A. So that was my tutorial on uh, the browsing and transport controls. Look forward for more tutorials and see you.